Hey you guys, Drum Machine Addicts is back again today, and today we're going to talk about how to load your VSTs into the MPC software. So we had a comment on one of our videos where a user was having issues with that, so all you have to do really is go down to your preferences, okay? So when you go to your preferences, you go to the plugins tab, and these are the different VST folders that are on your computer. Now, the VST folder should correspond with the actual folders that the plugins were installed to when you first purchased them or however you got them and put them onto your computer. So that's the very first thing you have to do. You have to make sure that you go, if you're on a Mac, to Macintosh HD, then users, then libraries, then audio plugins slash VSTs. Make sure that your VSTs are installed in the right place. If you're on a PC, that means if you're on like Windows 7 going to computer, programs x86 vst folder making sure the dot dll files are in there now once you make sure that your your files are corresponding with everything and everything is where it should be then you search for it in here and then you click the check mark and you click use audio units too just in case the audio units are installed and the folders actually to separate them are a lot cleaner depending on what software you're using but anyway you make sure all of these are selected and then you press rescan all. So I'm not going to click rescan all because I already have everything installed. But um, if I wanted to add a new folder, I would just click scan new. Now, if your if your stuff is already installed, but it's not showing up, I would go up here and click rescan all anyway, because sometimes software is buggy and it, it misses stuff and it doesn't show up. If it still doesn't show up after that, then you might want to reinstall the VST plugin so that it can get a fresh install and then maybe the um, maybe the MPC software can find it that way. So moving on, let's say you have all your plugins installed and you want to start your first program. What you have to do is change the type of program is going to be from drum to plugin. And as you can see, it created a plugin program and it popped up a keyboard. The next thing you have to do is go down to where it says plugin right here. Click on none. And you can go to VST or audio units. I'm going to go to VST. Then I'm going to go to native instruments and I'll just go to Absinthe. It'll take a few seconds to load up. And there you go. You have Absinthe loaded. So you can do this with all of your VSTs and pretty much after you load a VST, a new program will be started for each, uh, each separate instance. So if I wanted to add another program, a plug, a uh, plugin program, I just do that. And then I can add, say this time I want to add battery. And then you click on this button to open the plugin. And there you have it. That's how you load VSTs in the MPC software. If you have any more problems or any questions, feel free to contact me via email and I'll get back to you ASAP. It's the Drum Machine Addicts. Remember, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Please subscribe, like our video so I can keep giving you content. We and the team, thank you. Have a nice one. Peace.